Hi friends, this is Miss Marinara with a mentor text. This one is called The Lion Dancer. Ernie Wan's Chinese New Year. A guided reading level N, written by Kate Waters and Madeline Slavins Lowe. Photographs were by Martha Cooper. Remember friends, good readers always check out the pictures first. Get those brains ready. So we're gonna take a quick look. Mm-hmm. You should be thinking, oh, that looks like a family. All right. Oh, we're looking at a setting here. Okay, getting our brains ready. Maybe we see some familiar things. Oh, definitely that one. Okay. Looks like we're traveling through maybe someone's life. All right, let's get started with the story. Lion Dancer. Okay, dedication is to the Wan Chi Ming Hung Gar School and to future generations of lion dancers. Hi, my name is Ernie Wan. This is my father, my mother, my sister Jenny, and my little brother Warren. We live in an apartment in Chinatown. This is the story of the most important day in my life. This Chinese New Year, I will perform my first lion dance on the streets of New York City. And boys and girls living in New Jersey, New York City is north of us. It takes a few hours to get there. All right, here we have, this is Chinatown. Every day on my way home from school, I see something different. The green market, restaurant window with different things hanging in it, the fish cellar, ice carver. At Chinese New Year, thousands of visitors will come to watch our celebrations. Then we will have a hard time walking down the sidewalk. Hmm, I wonder why they're going to have trouble walking down the sidewalk. Jenny and I go to public school during the week, but on Saturdays, we go to a special Chinese school where we learn to read and write in Chinese. Writing is the hardest. Today, it is very hard for me to sit still. Chinese New Year starts tonight. And tomorrow morning, I will dance in the street. Finally, school is finished. Jenny and I race to class at my father's Kung Fu school. We have been learning martial arts since we were three years old. Today, we practice the lion dance. The dance will scare away evil spirits and bring good luck to the new year. After class, my father tells me how to check my new lion's head. I pull the strings inside that make its ears wiggle and its eyes blink. Ears and eyes. Then I test the switch inside that make the eyes light up. And you'll see the light bulb right there. My father watches me go through my dance one more time before we leave. On the way home, he tells me that I am doing well and that my dance will bring honor to our family sure he's feeling quite proud. When we get home, my mother is waiting for us. She helps me put on my new clothes. Jenny helps Warren with his. It is our custom to wear something brand new for the new year. That way the evil spirits won't recognize us. My mother has been cooking all day. She cooks in a pot we call a wok. It's like a fry pan with high sides. When everything is done, she puts the food in front of the altar. The altar honors all of our ancestors. Offering food and incense at the altar is a Buddhist tradition. First, we bow at the altar. Now we can sit down to eat. And you see, boys and girls, they're using special tools to eat. I'm sure you know what they are. The, there are oysters, fish balls, shrimp, 
chicken, pork, seaweed, lotus root, and of course, rice. What a feast. And those will be traditional foods that Chinese um, families will sometimes eat on, during the new year and during the regular year, I believe. After dinner, my mother lets Warren and me play lion dance music. Later, Uncle Jimmy comes, gung hey fat joy, we shout. That means Happy New Year. year. He gives us each a red envelope with money in it. We will get many more red envelopes for the new year. There's a special one for those envelopes. You can find that out. The eye-opening ceremony will begin at midnight. My mother sends Jenny and me to our room to take a little nap. But I can't sleep. Hmm, I wonder why. At 11 o'clock, my father gets us up. We walk back to his school. It's fun to be up so late at night. My father helps me, Jenny, and our friend Alvin with our uniforms. A few minutes before midnight, my father begins the eye-opening ceremony for my lion. All new lions have one. He honors the school's ancestors. He mixes red cinnabar and rice wine. Red is the good luck color. He dabs my eyes, ears, nose, and mouth, and body with the red mixture. Our dance begins. We must always keep the lion moving. I watch for other dancers to make sure I stay in step. Jenny and Alvin take turns in the tail. How colorful. And big. At the end of the dance, the Buddha leads us right up to the firecrackers. Then... Bang, 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 bang! Bang! The room is full of noise and smoke. The lion dance is done for tonight. Before we go home, we watch a videotape of the ceremony. We make sure we did our steps right. Tomorrow is the big day. We will dance in the streets. So, boys and girls, we would call that a practice run, right? We meet early the next morning. People outside are beginning to shoot off firecrackers. My uncle gives me last-minute instructions. We go up and down the streets. The lion must not stop moving. We go inside restaurants and stores to bring good luck blessings. Every place we go, people give us red envelopes. Oh, geez. Outside, shopkeepers hang long strings of firecrackers. Wow. I stay back when the Buddha leads the big lions close to the firecrackers. Because all the noise and smoke, all the dancers must cover their mouths and ears. Down the street, a shopkeeper has made a snake puzzle. He has hidden a red envelope somewhere in the bowl. The dancers must find it. <laughs> Anybody spot it? The dancers in the lion's head hops up on the bowl. He grabs the toy snakes and throws them into the crowd. Then he gobbles the lettuce and spits it out. He finds the red envelope inside the lettuce. Then bang, 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 more firecrackers. Finally, it is time for me to dance in my neighborhood. My family, neighbors, and visitors have come to watch. Wow, pretty cool. Must be a special honor, huh? I am too tired to walk back to my father's school, so I hop on the drum cart and ride. Gung hey, fat joy! The Chinese lunar calendar is 2,637 years older than ours. Each year is named for an animal. Every 12 years, the cycle begins again. The Chinese say that the animal ruling of the year you were born will influence your life, beginning with a rat. Wheel reads counterclockwise. Okay, counterclockwise. Okay. 
here's the Chinese horoscope. It tells you which years represent those animals. So Mrs. Marinara was born in 1963. So I would be the year of the rabbit. And it says people born this year are nice to be around. They like to talk and many people trust them. Now, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Griffith is also 1975. He's also the year of the rabbit. So each of these horoscopes tells you um, what you would be. So you have to have mom and dad look that up. And some of them might not be listed on there if you were born after um, the 2000s. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did.